Now, in the case of these burners, you can see many different models. They come out in different models like this, and even shapes like this, or bulkier ones like this. They all have a refill valve in the bottom. And it looks like this. I've unscrewed this one to show you what they really look like. And this is what they really look like. So this one was screwed into the bottom of this burner. And here are additional two. And as you can see, they come in different sizes. This one is much smaller than the already small version you see here. So how are they made? There's a little hole there. And that's where you can put a little plastic piece like this so that it fits right on top of that hole and it seals and you can see what happens when I push I put it over the hole you can see that's the wrong size so when you buy refillable gas you get the nozzles like this they come in different sizes of the holes and now I have three different sizes here this one may fit and it does you can see how it seals around the nozzle down there this one is too small this is the original canister how does that one fit Well, it seems to be a relatively decent fit just from the refill canister. So what happens when we push here? The gas is coming out right there in that little hole so we're talking about this hole now for this one the medium sized one it must be located internally yes in this case the gas is coming out right there on the top and this is the smallest one also for this one the gas is coming out from the top so there's a few different constructions in these ones, but they all serve the same purpose. They function as a one-way valve for you so that you can refill liquid butane gas into your torch. The way to do it is a torch. It's running out of gas. You can see we are on the, well that was the last of it, now it doesn't even bring any gas on and it doesn't light up anymore. So what you need to do is to make use of this valve here, take your canister and you can feel if there's liquid inside, you can also hear it. Then you turn your torch upside down, like this, and you put your canister tubing right in to the valve, so that it fits over that little brass tubing there that sticks out. Then you hold it upside down in this fashion, so that all your gas is on the bottom, the liquid gas should be on the bottom of the canister so that the real gas in itself is on the top. When you push downwards now, 
then it will push in, if you have your hand around here, then it will push in the liquid gas into your torch, like this. If you place your hand around the canister and you give some heat to the canister by your, the warmth of your hand, then it makes the gas, more of the gas, to convert into what well, the liquid gas to convert into gas gas this will push down more liquid gas more easily into that wall there it gets cold when the gas the liquid gas is transferred from this high pressure container out into this container at some point you filled up this canister completely because the reservoir inside here is smaller than this reservoir. You can see now the frost out on this plastic tubing because of the cold that's being developed when the liquid gas is exiting from the high pressure vessel out to the lower pressure that we have in the plastic tubing. At some point, we come to situation where you filled up your canister completely and there you see now the gas I can't feel more liquid gas liquid butane into this canister so all that's happening here is that it sips out like this and now it's evaporating as we speak because the container is full. This torch has now been completely refilled and can be used again. We can open the torch. And we have full pressure in the flame again. Well, thanks for watching guys.